Ladies and gentlemen, in this Red Gaming Tech.com video, I'm going to be taking a look at the remastered Dungeon Lords. So, this is a remaster of a 2005 game. So, don't expect the graphics to be the greatest in the world. Um, it does have quite a few additions from the original game, including uh, better multiplayer, um, more hours of gameplay, co-op mode, and so on. So anyway, without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So of course, because it's a PC game, the first thing we're going to be doing is taking a look at the options menu. It's fairly generous actually, despite the fact it's old. However, it does support the rather irritating issue of a lot of PC games now, where you have to scroll through the resolutions. You can't just simply click and then drop down menu appears. You have to go through each and every one of them. Every time a developer does this, a little kitten cries in the corner and then weeps. It's that bad. It really annoys me. Uh, anyway, you do have everything else, however. So it's fairly generous, although I don't think many people are going to have problems running this on their system. You'll see why in a couple of minutes. Anywho, we can go with this character that I just created just to test that the game does work. Uh, but let's be honest, you'll probably want to see the character creation process, what little there is. So let's click on it. Uh, there are several classes, of course, fighter, mage, adept, and rogue. Now, I don't know if it's just my setup, and I don't think it is because no other games are doing it for me. However, you never know. Um, but for some reason or another, my text is really hard to find and I'll read, shall I say. I'm going to check that in the video to make sure it's not just something the way the game's displaying, but it's extremely annoying. So anyway, um, that's just a little point. Uh, as I said, I don't know if that will transfer into the video. We'll find out, and it could just be my setup, so I'm not going to criticise too much, although I don't think the choice of fonts help. Anywho... Um, we have several different classes, including, of course, the Rogue, Adepts. You'll notice how nothing on the right changes. The, the dude looks similar. However, there are quite a few interesting uh, races, including monkeys and werewolves and goodness knows what else. And, of course, the dwarfs and elves. You can almost you know, guarantee there's dwarf and elf. Um, there's also human elf and human male and all that. I'm going to go with human female, no real reason, just because... Can change the weapon hand. I don't have a clue what that does. Maybe it's just aesthetics. There are a few skins. Uh, I'm not sure if you want to choose any of them. And there's a few types of hairstyle. As far as I can tell, you can't rotate the character, so it's kind of annoying because you know I could choose something and bind. It looks absolutely awful. Maybe they have a shave patch or something. Nevertheless, there's a few unrealistic hair texture colors. Uh, I'm going to go with something that doesn't look... Uh, you know what, I'm actually going to go with a man, because the female models are actually that bad. Um, I'm going to choose him to be a right-handed man, and he can be... Well, oh, actually, I don't mind the default one. He looks kind of cool. He looks slightly reminiscent, actually, of the old uh, Unreal Tournament model. Yes. I think the goatee doesn't work with this guy. He looks like a dodgy porn actor. I'm going to go with this dude. Uh, hair colour, well, I don't really think it matters. I'll go with the dark-haired dude. Uh, he seems more of a roguey type to me. Uh, he can wield various shits, but I'm just going to go with fighter class because, frankly, I just want to beat on this off and I don't really want to have to think about it. I don't think it's going to be particularly difficult. Oh, I'm just curious. No, selecting different classes don't not seem to make any difference here. I'm not sure what this crap does. Oh, I see. The acrobat. More luck. Strike plus two. Uh, fair enough, just go with that. I'm assuming that's basically an additional little cool thing. I'm going to increase his strength, just because we want him to be able to hit hard. Uh, I can always guarantee he's going to get hurt, so, yeah. Honor. Screw honor. I'm not a Klingon. Okay, I'll be a little bit Klingon. Uh, putting a little bit of that, a little bit of that. I don't necessarily know if intellect will do anything as a war is, but it just depends on how this game views intellect, maybe it affects conversation options, that type of thing, uh, you never know, I'll say bollocks to it, however, um, just because, and I really want to hit stuff hard, so I'm going to, you know, increase his strength, so he won't hit so much like a wet noodle, uh, 
done. Uh, I will choose the name for this dude as... Let's go with... Seems accurate. Actually, you know what? I don't want to lend my name to this guy. I'm going to call him instead Pratt. So, I will start with my Pratt and I will uh, click play. I'll leave the cutscenes in so you can enjoy the excellent quality. It's a trap! Lord Davamore's troops were soon overrun, and he had no choice but to concede victory to Lord Berogrim and Volgar. But Berogrim's taste for blood was not easily quenched, and he demanded a special prize that would proclaim his dominion to all. The hand of Davamore's daughter, Elowen, in marriage. For this alone would Berogrim call off his legions of terror. But unbeknownst to either lord, Elowen had already sworn her love to Valdane. Captain of Davenmore's royal guard and son to Lord Greymare of the Northlands. Upon hearing his daughter's refusal to marry Berogrim and the confession of her true love for Valdane, Lord Davenmore flew into a rage. He ordered his guards to arrest Valdane and carry him off to a dungeon far away. Elowen's wrath fell full upon her father, and she swore that if Valdane could not have her, no one would. She fled from the room in tears. And the next morning, she was gone. Now, Davenmore lies deep in a trap of his own making. For upon learning of Elowen's disappearance, Berogrim has accused Lord Davenmore of treachery in a ruse to conceal his daughter, and has once again ordered his army of death to the kingdom's door. Hordes of night warriors, shadow fiends, and other monstrous terrors now march across the lands, bringing death and destruction to all they encounter. Only by finding his daughter and convincing her to honor his pledge can Davenmore hope to save his kingdom from the nightmare of Berogrim's army of abominations. For should Volgar and his dark conspirators acquire the relics of power, they will truly become unstoppable. But all is not yet lost. It has been foretold that a young... Okay, I have to stop that. Because if that continued anymore, I don't think I'd have been awake to continue this. <sighs> Oh. I mean, you know the game's going to be good when you can do this. Yay, Superman! Oh, look. I feel like I'm in a line dancing class. To the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. Go forward. We can't jump back. That's beyond his ability, so let me slowly walk backwards. To the right, to the right, to the left, to the left. Through the fire! Anywho. Oh, look, we can stab him. Stabby. I mean you no harm. 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 There we go. So yeah. First of all, if you like looking at like pretty much anything uh, above you. You better really like the character's ass, and now I'm starting to really wish I'd chosen a female one. Not that it really makes much of a difference to the character models. Um, I, on the plus side, it, this gives me a great way to illustrate to you guys what I keep meaning about, you know, 2D grass. There's a few people have wrote to me saying, what the hell do you mean about 2D grass? This is 2D grass. You'll notice it. I mean, this is 2005, to be fair. I mean, uh, he's Superman. Anyway. Oh, I can block right click. Okay. So I do have a fairly reasonable understanding. Okay, I'm not going to completely take the piss out of the game. I mean, I'll partially take the piss out of the game because, well, it's me here. But nevertheless, oh, on the plus side, there is a little bit of variety on the flowers and stuff. 
So anyway, he means no harm, so let's speak I to him. I carry a letter from the Celestial Order at the Temple of the Cersei. Excellent. I was told that the one to whom the letter was... At least the text is slightly here. better here. Oh, I've been coughing up for weeks, waiting for someone to arrive. Aha! Okay, I will be honest. I have no idea what that was to collect for this dude. There we go. That the one to whom the letter was intended would find me here. Oh, I've been cupping up for weeks, waiting for someone to arrive. Okie dokie. Enter the town of Foregrove. So that's it? I've already accepted the quest, or do I have to actually accept the quest? Okay, can we actually get, like, press Q or something for the quest? Let's see what we've got here. Character. Fairly well. You seem far too cheerful. Go away. Um. Okay, let's see. Can save game. Great. Okay, so it's going to be one of those ones where you just can't click. Oh, no. Uh, you'll also notice that the icons are pretty shitty. So I actually have no idea, really, what the hell I'm doing. Skill points. Magic. I think this is one of those examples of games where you just kind of wish that, well, it didn't exist. Now. Do we have a map? We do. Unfortunately, by mousing over pretty much anything, I don't have a clue what the hell it does. And pretty much clicking anywhere... Now, on the plus side, occasionally, the rather annoying interface gives me the option to look occasionally. There we go. Right, let's have a look at some stuff. Sneak. Okay. I don't know what that does because it's not allowing me to actually, you know, mouse over it. We do get to bind things. Okay, so mouse. So one is sneak. Oh, I'm sneaky. I'm sneaky. I'm sneaky, sort of. Okay, uh, we can't run, as far as I can see. Maybe I'm missing that. Oh, well, we can auto run by pressing caps. The temple of the Cersei is in the nearby town of Fargo. Okay, so where the... This road will lead you to Fargo. Okay. Fairly well. So this road will lead me there, okay? So, the big ass pointer go to, tells me to go this way. Okay. At least we have something. I'm gonna Superman my way there. Oh no! I'm being attacked. No, wait, I'm not. Well, hi, dude. Okay. Well, at least it works when we mouse over. Is it me or did that sound very like a ninja? I do. I almost expected, like, you know, a group of Japanese guys to uncloak or something, to be honest. No offense to any Japanese people. I'm just going to skip along. I think that's the best option, really. I mean... I don't even know what the hell it is. On my system, it's lagging. Now, if Skyrim doesn't lag... ...on my system... Crisis 2 doesn't lag on my system. However, for some reason, this game does lag on my system. And somehow, because of the rather shitty frame rate, I've managed to basically go the opposite way. So, yeah. Um, apologies for that. So, yeah. Um, now, to be fair, it could be the recording software that's causing the issue. It could be. Um... Apparently, every single creature in the wilderness does not like me. And I don't know if I can actually kill this guy. Okay, you know what? Bugger to him. He's just, he's just taking a piss, really. Open up the gate, good sir. Town of Fargrove has been closed by order of by order of by order. The gates of Fargrove are I, Lord Davenmore's daughter, Elowen, has vanished. Yes. I, Lord Davenmore's daughter, Elowen, the gates of Fargrove are closed. 
By order of Lord Davenmore, no one may be off with you. Wow. Oh. Are you serious? So basically, I've managed to start attacking this guy who's integral to my quest. You know, in most of these first... Yeah. I've got a crap load of experience. Yeah, I've got a melee weapon as well. You know, most of these videos, to be honest, I'd actually restart and I'd be like, yeah, I feel bad for it, dude. Um, I'll, you know, restart, but on the side, you don't care. I'll just be frankly honest. Wow. Okay, let's see how far we can actually make these guys go. Yes. Is it me or do they seem really, really crappy when they run? Yeah. I don't need no stinking whatever the hell these things are supposed to be to help me. I can find the meticulously hidden passage. This thing looks like, I don't know, Zelda 64 or something like that. Yeah, it's just a snake. Yeah, you just keep, you know, hopping into the wall like you're partially retarded and I'll just sneak past. Uh, a lever? Okay, it's loading. Excellent. Loading screen is slightly reminiscent, actually, of Neverwinter Nights. That's about the best comparison I can give it to Neverwinter Nights, because it certainly doesn't do it in any other way. No! Okay. My sneaky character is now in here, and... What I really like about this as well... I mean, the water effects... To be fair to them, are not that bad until you move. I mean, look, what the? Okay, so that's a stun, which actually is pretty cool ability to have so early on. I've actually got some. I see. I mean, the game's not completely devoid of any good ideas. For example, one of them is that I actually do have a long range attack this early in the game. Now, I know that sounds a bit weird, because let's be honest. Oh, look, see, I've got summon rats or something. I don't even know how you get that. I mean, look, it's like, it's not even that devoid of completely good ideas. There are some that are actually reasonable. So, I mean, for, fact, for example, long range attack's pretty good. But, that's, you know, by the by. Oh, look, we even got water there. We can sometimes get water splashes if we jump far enough, it seems. Let's try that again. I'm just going to be very analytical about this. Well, you can hear the water. It doesn't make any difference, but you can hear it. Alright, what else have we got? That's right. Da, 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 da. Summon a rat. Okay. For some reason is a bit apprehensive. Hey bro, I heard you like rats. Oh, let's actually see what that does. Hey bro, I heard you like rats. So I made some rats for the flying rats. So we can have rats while we rat or something. I don't know. It's kind of hard to actually keep a video like this entertaining, to be honest with you. Although I think the game's doing a fairly good job by itself. Now, for any of you younger dudes who are watching this video and you're thinking, wow, is this what you had to put up with in 2007 or 2005? Wherever the bloody balls this game was released, I don't even remember. 
No, no, it was not. We did not put up with this in 2005. In 2005, if this game was released in the state, we'd be like, hmm. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, to be fair, the games are awful. It does have a relatively reasonable music score. The graphics, considering it is 2005, are not awful in some areas. However, I say all that, but then it's missing certain other aspects. Alright, let's see what the rats do. I mean, stuff like that's pretty cool. Yeah. I feel like a rogue warlock. Yes. Disarm trap. Disarm, baby. Okay, I don't even know how you do this, but never mind, eh? So, yeah. I'm not even going to attempt that again. I also do like the fact that my health regenerates. That's pretty nice as well. However, the rats around my feet, I know they're supposed to do that in, you know, real life. That's somewhat realistic. But they are kind of taking the piss. I don't want them that close to me because I can't even walk through them. I also quite like the slime monsters. That's actually quite cool. They're not really that used in games anyway. Well, at least compared to the, you know, wolves and God knows what else. I need an item, okay. I'm just curious what the map... Ah, we've actually got a reasonable map as well in here. See, it's not completely awful. Let's just bash it. Bash, 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 bash. Yeah, there we go. That solved... That saved some bloody time, didn't that? Ah, I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. Why am I dead? Who the hell knows? Your kiss is as good as mine if I'm dead. I can't move. I can summon rats, though. I think I've glitched it. I can't do anything else. I can't do anything else other than twiddle here on the spot. So, yeah. I can't even Superman jump to entertain you. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know what to say to that one, to be honest. I think I broke it. Ironically enough, the remake was supposed to fix a lot of these glitches. Turns out they missed some. <laughs> right. <laughs> we do have some saves we can work with. Let's see if the saves load. <laughs> Hello. There we go. I'm back in the wilderness, apparently. 100% loaded, apparently. No, I, I load as I die. <laughs> Is it sure? Is it actually sure? I actually think it's serious. That's the thing. Uh, look, uh, the thing. Crimson the mouse spinning his phone. <laughs> oh my god, this game's actually brilliant. You guys actually need to buy this for this entertainment. It's like 15 pounds. You need to buy it. It's like seriously, how much? When is this? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not really commentating, but seriously. I mean, that's so much win. Oh my god, the CB dies again when it loads. This is brilliant. Oh. Oh dear. And the thing is, you double click it to load and it doesn't even load. That's, that's amazing. That's tops. Oh dear. 
Oh my god, I've actually got tears in my eyes. This is brilliant. No, he dies again. <laughs> oh, let's, let's try a different save. Oh dear. Yeah, yeah, switch. Let's go with this one. I should have actually made my own save, but I didn't think he was going to keep falling over. Apparently, the game thinks it's a great idea to save in a dead state. Oh my god. Oh, all the way back here is a different character. Okay, this is my other character that I made as a test a few minutes ago. So it appears one of my characters basically loads on death. And now we've got this woman. I've actually got a mage. Actually, I suppose this does give me a small opportunity to take the piss out of another character. Like, I mean, to actually show you guys some other cool stuff. So, I'm going to quickly speak to this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go away. Yeah, beat you. Right, I'm going to launch my missiles at you. I mean you no harm. He means there's no harm. I mean, listen. I mean you no harm. 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 I mean, you know, huh? You know, if anyone actually makes that a uh, thing on YouTube, like, and by a thing, I mean, like, turns that into, like, a remix or something like that, um, I'll actually link that in the video description because that would just be brilliant. Actually, um, you might not want to do that because of copyright, but still, it would be brilliant if you could do it. Oh dear. Oh, go away, you twit. Yeah, I do. I'm a fire in my laser at you. Well, that seems, you know, balanced, considering that I basically fire my laser and it basically kills him instantly. Let me just beat you with my staff then, yeah. You can't get staff these days and so forth with the puns. Yeah, I'm just murdering people. Why Why you not understand murder? Yes. I can't actually see in the bushes. So I'm using a little bit of caution. If you oh, shut up or I'll leave you as well. Yes. Oh my goodness. I don't even care if I die at this point. I'm just going to continue. If I die one more time, then, well, yeah, really. I mean, look at them. They're bouncing into the wall, for God's sake. It's ironic that this is actually released the same day, by the way, as Mr. Pandara. I bet Blizzard are worried. Mandaria, or this. What are you going to go with? It's difficult. To be honest with you, you'll probably laugh more with this. At least until, you know, the fits of rage begin. Oh, I, I... I mean... It's not like it's the worst game I've ever played or anything. That's the sad thing. It has some really cool things about it. It's just... <laughs> It's so poorly implemented, and for some reason, these guys are completely impervious. <coughs> Excuse me. Completely impervious to anything. Okay. Oh no, I oh, was just too long range. Will you stop bloody coughing and attack? That's just irritating. Seriously, you're gonna put things this close? Okay, I can't even turn around and run because of the bloody speed you go. There we go. Yeah, level two. <clears throat> I gain three bonus points. Okay, I don't care. All right, let me... <clears throat> Come here. There. Yeah, there we go. I'm not even going to bother to pick stuff up because, frankly, I don't think any of you care. It's ironic I'm starting out in the sewers, really, isn't it? Ah, 
I actually think she walks slightly faster like that, which is somewhat weird. Maybe that's just my imagination. She does think he does more damage than the rogue. I don't know if that's just scaling, however. In other words, she starts out with tons of damage and then it all roughly evens out. <coughs> Actually, no, I wasn't a rogue, was I? Yeah, I was actually. I don't remember. I can't remember if I was a rogue or a warrior, what the bloody hell I was now. It's never really a good sign in a game where you don't even remember the class you just were about two seconds ago. Yup, <laughs> that's pretty annoying. <laughs> yeah, they'll be poked through a sec. Well, there's a lot of slime dudes. Can I move, by the way, while I'm casting? That's a good question. I should... I'm aware I'm just randomly hammering the button. Oh, you can actually move when casting. So that's cool as well. Is it me or does that music seem very out of place? Yeah, you just sit there while I nuke you. That seems fair. Excellent. So you can bash it. If you bash it, it takes your health. I'm just curious if I reload. Yeah, see? He's still spinning them. I'm going to call that spin the dead now. So, I... Yeah. I think that's a pretty good place to... Uh, to call it. Expect a let's play of this one in the next couple of days, really. Um... Uh, yeah, I can't really think of much else to really say. So anyway, um, if I, I'm sorry, I've just got to keep spinning her. Um, as I was saying, if you guys can rate and subscribe, that would be amazing. Um, and as she spins herself to oblivion, I'm going to say goodbye from me. So take care of yourselves and bye for now.